bit ridiculous. Bestie, I will I will keep playing optics list. I will. Hopefully I can hit a land. That'd be nice. Look at Ob growing like this though. What a legend. Alright, I think we just win the game here, to be honest. So we're gonna get like three pings. Oh yeah, this is a fantastic turn. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, this is great. Oh, this is great. Look at that. Yup. Ob has a job. Ob has a job. What's up and welcome everybody to a new Murders at Carl of Matter standard video and in this video I probably have one of the coolest brews that I've ever made so far at least for this set because this is an Obnixilis well it's te technically like a Mardu token deck but we have two really cool payoff cards for doing this namely Obnixilis Captive Kingpin a four mana four three legendary creature demon with flying and trample and whenever one or more opponents each lose exactly one life you put a 1-1 counter on Obnix list and exile the top card of your library and you may play that until your next end step so Obnix list works in this deck really nicely because we are also playing war leader's call and this card is great for you know buffing up all the tokens that we're creating and whenever a creature enters the battlefield with this enchantment in play war leader's call deals one damage to each opponent so as you can see, there's a lot of really good synergy between these two cards. Like if I have a Wordy Disc on board and I play an Obnixilis, the Obnixilis immediately triggers because the creature enters the battlefield. But any other creature that follows after that, like Epicures, Wardens, Harvesters, Tokens from Wedding Announcement, they will all trigger Obnixilis. Now to make that even spicier, we go to our second card at the top end here which is O'Hare Ashenal, aka Red Shelly, a 4-mana 4-4 four, four legendary creature with Trample that says if a red source you control will deal an amount of non-combat damage less than O'Hare's power to an opponent, that source deals damage equal to O'Hare's power instead. When it dies, transform it. So if you combine that with War Leader's Call, right? Every creature enters the battlefield that deals 1 damage. With an O'Hare Ashenal in play, that would deal 5 damage instead because the War Leader's Call is also an Anthem effect putting the O'Hare to 5 power. So imagine having a board where you have War Leader's Call and O'Hare Ashenil and you decide to hit your opponent with a Cleaveful Demolition which is destroy an artifact and create 3 1-1 one, one for Axian Goblin tokens. You would deal 15 damage to your opponent by just casting a Cleaveful Demolition and that is kind of the idea behind the deck. So we have our payoff cards um, the wedding announcement also is a fantastic way to generate tokens also has an anthem effect so that makes the tokens instead of you know kind of weak one ones into two twos potentially even three threes with war leader's call and it just keeps growing like that now we're, because we're playing artifacts to try and make that playful demolition work we might as well create or like play another token generator oni called anvil because the oni called anvil not only synergizes with the war leader's call basically doing like two damage every time but it also synergizes with Obnixilis because it deals one damage and thus it also synergizes with O'Hare Ashenil turning your Anvil sacrifices into four power instead of one power and maybe more if you have one of the Anthem effects active. Now to make sure that we have enough artifacts in play we also play Novice Inspector and Warden of the Inner Sky also is a great card in a deck like this because it helps us to stride towards the payoff that we need or like the Anthem effects that we need but I think I would also be okay with like triple inspector double warden so i kind of like switch a bit around with those so currently i'm playing this as a 20 land deck for me it's working out because my arena shuffler has been really cursed lately but i would recommend at least 22 lands in this and in order to do so i would probably cut both wardens that's kind of like what i did i took out two lands added two wardens um, or you could also cut like a novice inspector and a Voldarian epicure if you're feeling like it but um, if you don't trust the 20 land strategy just do it play it safe and go 22 which also works i think this deck is pretty damn good against all these like mid-range decks especially the ones that really don't play a lot of enchantment removal so think about demir mid-range think about like esper mid-range rectal's mid-range I also think there's a lot of potential in this deck to um, to beat like aggro decks because we do get on the board so aggressively so quickly and we have a little, little bit of like life gain strategies in there too. Um, the sideboard is also very transformative so board wipe decks are obviously not very great for this but in the sideboard we're playing Obnixlisses which just 
shuts down any control deck. We're playing some Eurobresk Forges, which also helps to, uh, you know, put a win condition on the board that doesn't really get board wiped. And I'm also playing triple the rest to try and help myself out and uh, try to grab the opponent's potential board wipes. Now, as a treat for you guys, I have this beautiful graph here because this is the play history of the current version of the deck, 8 and 1. <laughs> um that's not a win rate you reach every time that's a 90 percent win rate over nine games so i'm really happy with that i feel like this deck has been gas as you can see also a wide variety of decks that we've played against so you'll see it in the gameplay that's coming up the deck has done fantastic 90 percent win rate i'm super proud we got all the way to like 36 mythic on the ladder so um this is an absolute banger you guys before we get into the gameplay don't forget to like and subscribe as it really helps the channel out. And by subscribing, you also make sure that you're not missing out on any of my brews, especially with Thunder Junction right around the corner. Subscribing is, uh, you know, a pretty good deal. <laughs> so anyways, let's get into it and uh, let's enjoy some OBS with jobs or Mardu tokens. Whatever cool name you can think of, put it in the, <laughs> in the, the comments below and I'll definitely name the deck that exactly. Anyways, let's get into it, friends. This video is brought to you by Ultimate Guard. Ultimate Guard provides you with premium protection for your trading cards, ranging from sleeves, deck boxes, playmats, binders, and more. Ultimate Guard has everything you need to keep your magic cards safe, secure, and stylish. Support the channel and yourself by purchasing your Ultimate Guard products using the link in the description. Hey, well, this is kind of gas. Is that a gleeful demolition on turn two for me? Ayo. Hey, Thunder Junction on the same plane as Nuke Pet. Nah, it's on a new new plane. It is like the on the Thunder Junction, right, or something. That's the plane, I think. All right, this looks pretty nice, especially with the War Leader Skull. <laughs> See if we can keep these uh, bangers up. I guess this is also a bot. I was, uh, for once in my Spotify, like, Discover playlist, just looking for some new songs while I spent, like, hours upon hours fixing my, my bedroom. Are the Walter Eldrin Enchanting Tales cards legal and standard in Alchemy on Arena? No, they are historic legal and timeless legal. Yeah, Omen Path or something, I, or Omen Path? Yeah, I don't know. Is Historic still format? Yeah, I would always, I think Historic is really fun to play, personally. Definitely more fun than Timeless and Alchemy, in, in my opinion. Spreading Seas would have been cracked. <laughs> yeah, Spreading Seas banned from Historic. Well, the, like it's just unreal to me can't even grasp that all right let's do a war leader skull here no more lies in a creature deck now nah, i think they're just playing like Orso uh orsov or azori's mid range really yeah I'll, I'll play some timeless metagame challenge i just i have not stopped thinking about this deck and how much i want it to work so <laughs> I was just like, woke up, fuck, I have to play this Mardu deck. I, I like, you know, randomly like cold sweats in the night. I have to play the Mardu off deck. Cause I just like, like it so much. Which one you better play Reckless Sacrifice, Explorer Pioneer. Do you mean between Explorer Pioneer or like on Arena? This is my Roman Empire. Basically, yes. I can't stop thinking about it. Uh, I have a lot of Thunder Junction cards that I'm really excited for. Not between on Arena. Oh, well, there's no Pioneer on Arena or, or, so. Or real life, right, on Arena or real life. Um. Part of me always prefers arena because I just like chilling in my own bed, my own like room. I'm yeah, I'm gonna go to paper pre-release for sure. Mm. 
when is it actually that's a good question the 12th or something isn't it next week yeah like the 12th question mark yeah how much is at your lgs well in the uk you get robbed but i'll probably be in the netherlands for the pre-release so i imagine actually i don't know where i'll be i want to try obnix list so bad here feeling a little suspicious though let's try you're like two at a giant with somebody in a cowboy closet <laughs> yeehaw Okay. 30 pounds. Right, right. Like, it's rubbery. It really is. I think mine charge like 40. It's like, what the fuck? Yeah, I love free releases. They're great. They, you, you do get, like, you do get, like, robbed at some LGSs, though. Like, I understand that they obviously want to make money, but damn. Like, fucking... Like 50, 40 pounds is like the equivalent of what, like $60? Like $60 to play in a pre-release? Like be real. Bit ridiculous. Bestie, I will, I will keep playing optics lists. I will. Hopefully I can hit a land. That'd be nice. Okay. Look at Ob growing like this though. What a legend. Dex is like $30 too. It's crazy. I'll just do pricing. Just like packs, you know, the, the usual stuff. Like, I don't know, but it's... Like I said, when I went dur during Murders at Cardinal of Manor, I bought like the fucking mad expensive, like 40 pound, like purely skit. And then I went and the event didn't fire twice. So I bought the purely skit bit and couldn't even play. And they were like, oh, here's some like prizes, I guess. But I was like, what the hell? Yeah, it's a bit ridiculous. All right, I think we just win the game here, to be honest. So we're going to get like three pings. Oh my God, this is a fantastic turn. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, this is great. Oh, this is great. Look at that. Yup. Ob has a job. Ob has a job. That was very satisfying. I'm going to keep it going. I'm, I'm not going to get this value many more opportunities like in life, you know? <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly what we had in mind. There you go. There you go. Okay. <laughs> do you do you think that like I think it's A for effort to be honest? Thank you. Thank you. I think it's art. I think it's art. Oh yeah, they were playing Mentor, right? <laughs> Thanks for hyping me up, guys. Yeah, they're playing Uwu Mentor. Interesting. Yeah. I'll try, I guess, set my anvils. They shouldn't have... Oh, they were... Were they not, like, the mentor players that had the main or the sideboard depopulate? We have to keep that in mind. I think from yesterday. I think we. I remember them playing that card. <laughs> I love how janky the nine looks. I tried. Timeless. Ah, uh, soon, soon. Oh, ooh, mentor. You mean sleeveless? Oh, me. Oh, I was thinking about like you meant like the deck. <laughs> Oops. Now nah, it's gonna get like we're getting like a weird um like heat wave here for some fucking reason that I don't know. I know, I know. I was like, well, what do you mean the deck? Oh, I was like, oh, brain rolled. I'm afraid. Yeah, we're getting like a weird heat wave too. So tomorrow is gonna be like randomly like 26 Celsius out of nowhere. I don't know. I guess, like, I guess so. 
Uh, all right, I'm gonna get rid of that then. 26 Celsius is like pretty high here, by the way. That's like summer temperatures on a good day. Nah, it's true, it's true. So, uh... Um, yeah, I guess I'm okay with that. Seems fair. I'm just gonna go wide again, I think. And then, like, next turn we can drop the War Leader Skull, hopefully, and thrive. You're from Netherlands? Yep. Ooh, a new mentor drops. At least that means they're not gonna hit us when I make this pier. Yippee. Twenty six hot live in Australia. I refuse to be gassed by people telling me twenty six is normal. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like for America, like twenty six isn't even insane, right? Like, but for the Netherlands, like for we're like whoa, <laughs> like whoa. Then is it a first now? As Germans can legally smoke weed. Oh yeah, congrats on that. Brother's going to match when Amsterdam told him to say hi if he see a little. <laughs> for sure, do that. Yeah, I'll be there. Twenty sixteen degrees. Uh, 70, 78? Sounds right. Yeah, like for America, like it's not much, but in Europe, it's like when we have our average day is like 12, all of a sudden, like double. At least in like the shitty area, this shitty cold part of Europe, I guess. We're cooking with Ob, and we're actually winning as we should, as we, it's what we deserve. Yesterday was a cursed day, now we're thriving. No, no, that's true, nobody owns air conditioning here. Alright, we're a few anvil pings away from success. Exactly. They were shy, yeah, we're, we're doing great now. No jinx, of course, no jinx. We're still looking at Epicure and Anvil in hand too, which both also represent like four points of damage. So together, two each. Opponent's gonna like just try to flood the board, I imagine. There's no way they win, fortunately. Unless they have like main board temporary lookdowns, that would be crazy. Yeah, 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 it was the depopulate guy, but that's in the sideboard. I hope for them. Not in the main. That would be crazy. It's in the sideboard. We gotta be a little bit aware of that for sure. And temporary lookdowns. Which could also be dangerous. Yo, banana. Thank you for the two. Yeehaw, I guess. Yeehaw. We are moisturized. We are in our lane. And we are flourishing. <laughs> there we go. Um, I do have my hearses. I'm gonna need that. Yeah, they were depopulate plus temporary look down, which makes sense. Mm. Yo, Depton. I think the cutdowns are a bit mid here because they can just like pop one instant and like grow out of range. Um, So I'll play the get lost too. I'm just thinking whether or not I'm supposed to be playing duresses. Pro I want to say probably because how, how much like a board wipe could screw me over. Mm. Yeah, thanks, banana. The, the prime yeet to the hall. I, I think we I think we gotta. I think we gotta. Anointed with Affliction be a good cyber card. Ma yeah, Anoint instead of Helix, maybe. But Helix can be better against like other like aggro decks too. I could see that though. We need the Weeb he Helix, yeah. <laughs> the Weeb Helix will save us all. I could probably go a bit lighter on like the go white strategy because um 
they will have answers for that. I think we're going to try this, probably. You can further early access. Yeah, very much so. Bestie tour? Yes, for sure. I think there will be probably a bestie tour in like the first week of Thunder Junction or something for like, you know, getting your, getting your yeehaws on. Oh, we might just do a rule where like there has to be at least like three cards with cowboy hats in your deck or something to make it a bit spicier. I don't think like I like the harvester go for throat side of this deck. I don't like the triple war leader skull side. Um, but yeah, look forward to a bestie tour. I'll be setting everything up. I want to get back into like a, a, a place where a bestie tour could be a monthly thing again. We cook with this. I don't know. I mean, I really like the go for the throw, but I also don't have purses. Is Ivy going to be there. Mm, I think I'll be in the Netherlands. I'm so torn. Like, it's not horrible. I guess I do have, like, the blood token to also get rid of something. How do bestie tours work? Um, it's basically just, like, a community tournament where you get, like, free access to when you're a subscriber. And they're usually, like, they're they're meant to be fun. So it's not, like, incredibly spiky stuff or anything. Uh, I get rid of helping hand, I guess. It's not spiky at all. It's just very casual. Good, good prizes. And, um... Yeah, we still have like the ultimate guard prizes that were promised as well. Yeah, I, I want to set up a monthly bestie tour uh, for sure. Or like every other six weeks. Yo, Toy, what's up? Something along those lines. Yo, did we just stop like a hearse? Let's get it. Yeah, something like that. But um, just got to get like things back on track a little bit. Yeah, it's monthly pizza for the staff. All right. The bestie league. <laughs> yeah. Bestie league where like there will be a face off at the end of the year with all the, the winners. The bestie tour finals. That could be cool. Is Gandalf the Scourge? Nah. But we will always encourage like wacky rules though. So you got to find a way to play three cards with cowboy hats or something. I don't know. I still have to figure out what I want to do to at least encourage people to like improvise. I'm going to get a little bit of yee, a little bit of haw. All right, the gin, but we can put that gin in check. Really happy with like the full deck situation here. Okay. I'm going to discard a war leader skull here. I don't even have white. Can I draw a cowboy hat on hag? <laughs> well, yes. Uh, I'm going to try war leader skull. That would make this harvester a pretty nice attacker. Pog. I can provide some legit horseshoe prizes. <laughs> horseshoe prizes? Yo, we got him though. This is revenge. Hell yeah. I mean, we we found the right cards, so I'm pretty happy with that. Nice. He's getting spiky up in here. I actually don't hate this hand. Like, I could do turn one Epicure into turn two Warden and start, like, scrying aggressively. But I don't know if that would save this hand. But I could try it. Worst case, we make them believe for Boros Convoke. <laughs> Best case, I guess. I don't know. We're going to trick him. Hey, YOLO fan, thank you for the two months. I appreciate you. Thank you. What is this? Just like Asper mid? I'm sure. Yo, I need to scry a land to the top right now. I don't want a girl boss too close to the sun. Okay, great. They're still convinced we're Boros Convoke right now, which is great. Ooh, black mana. What? Where'd that come from? Like, this is still... I, I need to adjust to this being, like, the new version of Esper Mid, where... It's all just, like, 
more like a go wide strategy in Esper, where they're playing like virtues and weddings, because for a while they didn't play that. For a while it was like bats and um um bats and like uh what is the other car card like called? Um very masterminds, even some schooners. Like this is like the new version of Esper. Yeah, gigs and bats. And now they're like back to go wide. I keep forgetting. Stupid, of course, but yeah. Yeah, like they they played a bunch of like different cards at one point in time, and now they're uh, they're back to business, basically. Probably hold go for throw, I guess. Former horse girl. <laughs> I'm getting my yeehaw on, like. Mm. They used to play Lord Dignos. They did. I'm kind of like tempted to like deny it. I know they're like screwed on lands too, so I'm kind of tem tempted. Another War Leader Skull, Ao Slay. But I think I'm just going to remove for Fiend. I'm just going to go super aggressive here. Like, you're screwed on mana, so am I. So let's keep it that way. But my board looks a bit better than yours, so. Very greedy, of course, this. Very greedy, but... Greed is good. I did. I did. <laughs> I was very young, though, mind you. I was, like, really young when I did, like, horse girl competitions. I was, like, 10 or something. Okay. I think we've just won the game here, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Do they want to add Scrawl's Hive into War Leader's Call for Ultimate? I, you could definitely do that if you feel if you feel the urge to. Like, I don't think you need the Harvesters in his deck. If you, I like the Harvester because I think the Harvester is incredible pressure and you know works nicely with the uh, the Anvil has good like synergy with Gleeful Demo. But then again, Scrawl's Hive also creates Gleeful Demo targets. But I like that Harvester is a three power creature that also could function as removal. But you could. If you wanted to, like, you you could play Scrawl's Hive over, like, Harvester, but you go much harder on the, um, the just, like, slow mid-range strategy. Yeah, I don't, I'm not really seeing myself ever board into, like, Helix. I might just do Anoint with Afflictions instead, to be honest. Okay. Hey, Legacious, that's a really cute emote. Oh my god. Sure. Iganjo Uprising, a classic. Um, a little bit flooded here, but I do have the end of festivities. So we're gonna have to see. Drago Asperia. I mean, I feel like this is, like, our moment to do end of festivities, right? Like, while they're still in range. Mm. Yeah, I'd much rather save the get lost for virtue. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, hell no. Uh-oh. I only have one get lost, man. I think you really just have to hope that they don't have the fifth land here. Oh shit. Okay, not uh well soon, I guess. Shit. Ooh, I'm not feeling great about this one. Mmm. It's gonna get removed. Like, I could block this. I could sack my end, or I could sacrifice my anvil to itself and block. <laughs> Is that worth doing? Is that really where I want to be at? I mean, I feel like perhaps, yes. 
We might just see like removal and response or something though. I don't know. A tiny bit flooding. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it, they have us. Um, all right. Trenches intensifying. We're finding one too many lands a little bit as well. Do they have another answer here? That'd be crazy. Bounce? Oh shit. Hmm. Okay. We out here. Nah, it's true. I think we're just gonna hit get lost on a token, probably. Like, we could at least, like, chump the knights for a bit with wedding announcement. Like, if that's what we gotta do, I guess that's what we have to do, right? Like, getting rid of a virtue right now is like... What's the use? What's the use? Like, ew. Just, uh, trouble, I'm afraid. More removal, even. Oh my god! They had a good hand. It is what it is. Yeah, they had a really good hand. Just gasoline. It's just something incredibly powerful about a wedding announcement combined with like, holy fucking shit. <laughs> wow. There's just something about a wedding announcement being dropped or like being dropped and maybe like a virtue and just combining it with only removal. Like, I think it's just that's just cracked. This is feeling a, a little bit mid. I mean, the opponent also multi five, so we have that going for us. I want to be greedy so bad. Ah, that's going to backfire on me, though. Nah, it's okay. Like, the opponent also multi five, I'm pretty sure. Actually, I'm not sure. Am I crazy? I don't know. I thought I saw the mold of five as well. Okay. Let's try it, gamers. At least we're on like even grounds with everybody mulling the five, so that's great. Always something nice about having a harvester on turn two, so if you get hit by the bat, you can still get your card. I'm a fan. Oh, am I going to get, like, countered? I'm trying to bait removal. Guys, I'm not feeling safe with this Eurobrask Forge. I'm going to end the turn. I'm not playing it out. There's no way. I, like it's it's very much giving no more lies very much so now they might have something else i don't know what it is virtue i guess i'll try o'hare they can sit back and wait yeah mm. all right we just hope this is enough then i guess your rest forge do they have double no more lies Uh, so probably Tidebinder. Um, actually not going to attack. I'm just going to sack it immediately. Like, I know the value behind this forge in mid-range matchups, especially versus like Esper, where they're not going to get rid of it. Actually, am I holding this? I think I am. I think I'm holding for a turn so I can like, sacri like I can filter my hand better if I need to. I think I'm holding. Uh, okay, I was not expecting them to play Legion to Ashes. That's kind of crazy. Mm. Alright, I'm going to develop this word now then. Legion to Ashes, premium cyber card? Bro.
bruh. Temporary lockdown. But I thought they played a bunch of like weddings and virtues. Okay. Sure. What happened to that, Bessie? I'm just gonna remove this immediately. Try to. Uh oh, not the flood. I'm a 20 land deck, you can do this! Bruh, okay. <laughs> no, I'm playing 20 lands because I didn't want to get like... <laughs> I didn't want to get like screwed or I didn't get like flooded, so I'm playing 20 lands respectfully. Okay. This could be good. Card draw, pull geese. Everybody's a bit uh, flooded here. Loran, oh fuck. Damn, they had a lot of hate for us, dude. They had a lot of hate for us. Mm, they can still block with Anchorage. Hmm. I'll try though. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, please do block with Lauren. The fuck? Bonus being a little bit of a hater. We're so close. To something. Oh! <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. This is good. This is good. You know, I feel like they might have. Something like a destroy evil, I feel, but I'm gonna go, man. We start swinging. Just like a regular removal on this. Hag? No. Oh, God. <laughs> nah, it was hag. Oof, this is close. Mm. No, no, don't do that. Don't do that, opponent. Uh -huh. You don't want to screw us over. Uh -huh. I mean, you'd imagine that maybe they are tempted to like, put a one-one -one counter on Anchorage. I would imagine. Okay. Yeah, you jinxed it. <laughs> oh, what? Why are you still giving me a card, Ao? Okay, sure. Ayo, thanks. That was very, like, Rocco coded. <laughs> that was very Rocco coded. Alright, we should only have gas off the top right now. Uh, actually, might wait a turn, see what I draw first. Exactly! I was like, if I draw Gleeful Demo, I don't want to regret this. There's no benefit now. I have all the mana in the world. I can wait, you know? I'm pull gang. I really hope they have an emperor in a hand. Or what is this? Destroy evil. Oh, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. I, I tried to make the right decision. Why is this game so close? Shit, I hate it. Thanks. I feel that that felt like an emperor. I don't know. That, that felt like an emperor for real. Okay, so last card emperor maybe? Okay, so what happens here? So we get restless anchorage. They book two things, right? So four go through. So if they play one ring emperor for exile, they go to five. Three goes through. I don't get there, do I? 100% hag? Probably. I'm gonna swing. Let's go. They can't have it all the time, right, guys? Okay, that's fine. Do it again. We'll still lose. This is... 
probably one of the most satisfying wins in my life. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, that's that's good. That's good. All right. We earned that victory. Like you can't say otherwise. We earned that. Hobbs with jobs. Yeah. <laughs> No, nah, it's true. Like, I just knew that this deck was just such a cool concept. Like, I didn't really want to give up on it or anything. I'm glad I didn't. Even though yesterday it was, like, so tempting to do that. So. I'm really glad we didn't give up. Never back down, never want, never give up. Yeah, explanation my playlist in the chat gets you there. We stay believing, yeah. <laughs> she had a vision, yeah. We're against... Um... um roots. Mm. Like part of me is like, I don't want to remove this Maverick because they can start going crazy and going stupid. Um, let's see. Yesterday was self-sacrifice, yeah. <laughs> to the RNG gods, basically. I had to give up my, whatever sanity I had left to the RNG gods to be able to see this deck's true potential. I'm glad I did. Th I'm glad I made the sacrifice. Okay. Okay. Tiny Bones joins up, does trigger all one entry. Time to revisit all be one. Wait, what? Tiny Bones joins up, does trigger all one entry. What does Tiny Bones joins up do again? I thought it was pretty good. Is it not like discard or something? Like, what was it again? It was like a good discard spell or something, right? For one damage? trying to remember hey yo go wide now nah, it's the tiny bones joins up let me look it up really quick tiny bones joins up discard when you draw uh so it ends the battlefield any number of target players each discard a card never let your creature enter the battlefield in your control any number of target players each mill one and lose one life Ooh, that works with ob yeah that's pretty gas I think it works with Ob. Ob is like one life loss, no? Yeah, whenever they lose exactly one life. Ayo, that's kind of gas. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Mm, probably draw a card here. Yeah, no, it's life loss. We're good. Yeah, we're good. Mm, Planned, but this thing is a bit thicker, so I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do. Um, it's probably just supposed to be a very respectful like this, and then I can go face with these, and I can hold the gopher to throw for the spider. I think. Okay. Four color legends. Yeah, before, like, as long as Capenna, like, doesn't rotate, in, or, you know, the Plaza of Heroes. Is Plaza of Heroes from Luminaria? I don't know. But yeah, that will definitely be, like, a Legends deck of some sort that's going to be good. Definitely. Bessie's getting some plans. Yo, Bobsy, thank you for the raid. Appreciate it. Hope you had a good stream. <laughs> I'm going to remove Berserker, I think. 
It's cool, let's say I can just pay you the Lenware wastes, okay? I mean, I think we just win the game. I'm pretty sure. They kind of got a block harvester. If you don't block harvester, you're super greedy. All right, opponent chooses to die. <laughs> opponent chooses to die with all information on the board. Didn't even have to see the epicure. Yeah, that's all right, bestie. They just they just chose death. Like, <laughs> sure. Yo, I'm not mad at that. I mean, even though like a double like painland is a little um questionable. But this is potential. Favorite tribe? I mean, the first thing that comes to mind is vampires. But I've always also always really liked skeletons. Like, whenever I play skeletons, I just love it. Ooh, that's a Tyvar. I also always like zombies. I mean, the thing is, like, I'm a sucker for tribe decks. Like, I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like, I love them. I don't know. Typal stuff, I guess. Whatever the official name is nowadays. I don't know. But I am I am always a fan. Like, I, I just love the super synergistic stuff. Like, I'll enjoy any typal deck. Like, I really love pirates, too. I really like merfolk. Like, I love angels. <laughs> Kindred? Yeah. The VTM vampire to masquerade slay of it all. Now, I just love them always. Capybara. I, I don't know if I've ever seen a successful oh, like Capybara kindred stuff, I guess, but I love them. Like I will there's probably not one like like typo deck that I or like kindred deck that I hate, you know? I don't think so. Like I could even get behind humans, even though it might be a little bit like too competitive for my taste. It's an easy sell. Like, yeah, it's just easy for me <laughs> to want to be doing that. Um, I'm just going to not attack here. Oh, Nixilis is about to go crazy with War Leader Skull soon. Mm, about to go crazy. About to go stupid. All right, let's see. Here's Ob. And Ob is going to get a trigger because War Leader Skull. This is the perfect synergy. This is what we're looking for. This is how we thrive. I can't play that, unfortunately, though. No tax. Get another one. Pew. Like, that's... Ooh. Like, this is how, like, you thrive. Ex exactly. Exactly. That was sick. We only climbed one position there. Playing against Mythic 200. We go from 43 to 42. Okay. Ooh, I'm tempted to keep this, but I only... My hand starts on three, and I don't have black. Hmm. Does anybody remember my probably like greatest deck I've ever built, which was the prison break deck? <laughs> That's how you play a board wipe in a a creature slash enchantment deck. The prison break deck was truly my um creative genius speaking, I think. I should have a look at that deck again. I don't know if there were any relevant enchantments. Um, with ETB effects since, uh, Ixalan and Murders, to be honest. Um, I don't know. I don't think I can keep this. I'm so tempted, though. Like, we find the swamp and we're just in. Shit. Do I try it? very greedy like I have I cannot play anything here I can do that like I, I could not I could not keep it like I could there was literally zero playable hands or playable cards in that hand like there's no way there's no way there was just a few potential in there but nothing more than that tiny bones yeah Well, the control players get rewarded with a um, instant speed board wipe now. The fairy on the stick, basically. This is Esper. 
<laughs> board wipe tribal, yeah, my bad. Right. Uh, I think it's in my best interest to just remove Kix here. Get Earth Society! Ayo, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. Thank you. Mm, wedding? Thank you. I don't think it's going to make that much of an impact, but you never know. You never know. So, okay. I, at first I was like, so this is old school Esper, but I don't know anymore. This is just weird now. Arc Fiend of the Draws? Mm, okay. Mm. This is gonna get a little, like, a little worrying, I think. I can remove the Arc Fiend. If I can dump like red right now, I could remove it. I could get like three blood tokens. But I need to find red off the top. Oh my god. Bless. And then and then still succeed, right? That's gonna be another tricky part. I think they might still have removal up. Like, the second I play this Harvester out, it's over. Yeah. Well, GG's, I guess. I got one shot in maybe finding removal of the top, but um, let me see. They just, like, ran us over a bit too fast here. Nah, I can't do that. Nope. And we also had a Mold of 5. It wasn't, like, ideal or anything, so... Like, I almost want to say they're playing like Demir mid splash white. I don't know, for S for, for Rafine maybe? They'll probably play Bats as well. I'll play into festivities. Mm. I don't know, it's tricky. Yeah, I'll probably have to play an extra get lost. Like, if they play Arc Fiends for sure, like, I'm, I might be in trouble. Okay, we, that's reasonable. Yo, Space Bands. I hate that. Even the Warden doesn't have a lot of value here. I think the, the right uh, configuration of the deck should be like two Wardens, maybe, and like triple Novice Inspector. Maybe. All right, at least if they hit me with a bat, I have a go for the throw. Sure. Oh, something shifting now. I'll try forge. Please don't counter me. Okay. Mm. Tradesies? No, just playing it out. Okay, that's fine. Festivity stonks increasing. I think we can have a very interesting... I th are you guys ready for the world's best and the festivities? You guys ready for this? You, you ready? You're not ready. You're not ready. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Be careful what you chump look, bestie. <laughs> They're not sniping yet. Yeah, not sniping confirmed. I'll try Ob. Goated. Yeah. Is card overlay disabled? Shouldn't be. Isn't that working for you guys? Maybe I can find a land here. It'd be kind of nice. Working? Okay, cool. 
Hey, no, Ulp. No, Ulp, come back. Oh, we got land out of it, though. It's value. War leaders call in your Resk Forge together, like... Chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. All right, that's more the energy that we're looking for, for sure. All right, looks pretty good. The good vibes. Yep, yep, for sure. Oh, 7 0 run is happening. Oh, yeah, the timeless metagame challenge is ours, for sure. The deck looked too strong to flop so hard, like it did yesterday. It, it's true. Like, we really just. Nothing went right. Okay. Is the song not right? Oh, you see bottom right corner. This is a, a absolute banger from the Fame Monster. Lady Gaga's I Like It Rough is a bop. And the rated classics. Mm, okay, we're gonna have to get rid of that. It was the Fame Monster. Or was it on the Fame? Nah, it was the Fame Monster, right? I don't think it was on the Fame. Oh God, I'm questioning my Lady Gaga knowledge now. I'm, I have to look it up now. If I'm wrong, that would be devastating. Yeah, it's... Oh, it's on the fame! Oh my god, gag. <gasps> I'm washed. I'm washed. <laughs> I apologize. It is on the fame? Dang. I'm washed, you guys. No! Damn. Yeah, I will be watching the, G the new Joker movie, even though, like, you know, I, I wasn't a fan of the first one, but uh, nah, it's true, it's true. Um, probably have to find a way to get rid of the wedding. I could take it now. I think I want to wait before after combat, though, so that they don't get the bad buff. Would I ever move to kick? No. I, I did not like the first one ever, so. Oh, this banger. I'm seated, yeah. <laughs> I will be seated. Same with Maxine. I'm so hyped for that. And Love Lies Bleeding comes out April 11th here in the Netherlands, so you bet my ass will be seated. Once again, we will be seated. Okay. Rafine arrives. Mm. Okay. Um I think we need a a change of plans here. I think we got to remove the bat and we can cut the ravine. If I do it now, they get one less knife trigger. I think I should go for that. I mean, they could, in a worst case scenario, they could draw like a swamp and then duress it, but. Oh, new Beetlejuice? Yeah, I will also be, I will also be seated for that one. Um, I think it's a, it's worth to block this for sure. Because like their stuff eventually grows. Mm, okay. Let's cut that Rafine. I'm not sure. I know this is just like a very iconic remix, I guess. <laughs> you receded, yeah. Mm, 
We still have to do a movie night in the Discord. I need to set that up, actually. We can technically do a movie night tomorrow in the Discord if it's not, like, too short notice. Okay. Shrek. <laughs> Shrek. Yeah, Shrek 2, of course. Okay, a little bit of a flood here. I do have a Gonjo, I guess. Cooking streams? <laughs> I was baking... I baked tough cookies at one point. <sighs> I guess we remove the mastermind. So then these trades, we push three, and then we hope for the best, I guess, with the blood. This is tricky, though. Like, our board is not looking very powerful right now. Oh, brother. <laughs> oh, brother. That's not great. An Arc Fiend? That is big boy. All right, we're just going to really have to draw, like, one of our three go for the throats now. Okay, that could help us dig. At least we can do something with our tokens now. That's pretty good. All right, let's have a look. We get two scries. Oh, Anvil's good, though. Nah, but Anvil against Arcfiend doesn't do that much, does it? Mm hmm. Nah. Okay. Benedetta. <laughs> I don't I don't I don't know. I don't think the besties are ready for Benedetta, I gotta be real. I I don't know. I don't know. That was definitely something. I mean I stand, but that was something and a half. <laughs> no. Shit. Oh, double arc fiend. Oh my god. Double homicide. This is not good, man. I need that for myself, that go for the throw. Holy shit. They didn't attack me though? Oh, this is tricky. Mm. Um. They're, I guess swing at me for 14, but ah, I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out how do I win this game? They need one piece of removal to win the next turn. We lose like four life. I think I have to look for removal here. I don't think I can play Oni cold out. Because I, I don't think I'm going to be alive. Okay, that's a land. Yikes. Nah, it's over. <laughs> it's so over. It's so over. Mm. If only Heartless Act was still in standard. Yeah, Heartless Act and Big Score win. Okay, well, yeah, I kind of figured that was uh, not going to be it for us, I'm afraid. Oh, well. Um, no shame in losing to that, I guess. Sure.